What's up guys, this is Travis Brady, back to you another with a Q and A. So some of these questions are uh, just common questions that I get or I've received over the years from people. And some of them are more specific, people just reaching out to me. These could be clients, these could be people on my Instagram or Facebook. Hopefully you're following me, at Coach Travis Brady. And then also I have a Facebook group called Next Gen uh, Business Group. Hopefully you check that out, I actually have a free branding program, okay, when you decide to join, there's no obligation or sales, it's just to help you go to the next level, just like these videos are to help you. So, uh, we got a question from Ryan. So Ryan said, I can't decide what to do in my business as a realtor. I've been in loans for three years now. Uh, I am at this place where I've started in uh, as a real estate agent and I'm not really sure I like it. Um, I've been bouncing back and forth to, do I continue with real estate? Do I jump in some other business? I have a hard time making decisions. And so I don't end up making decisions at all. I experience a lot of anxiety. I think a lot of it comes from my youngest brother. Uh, he, uh, one of my brothers has teased me my entire life and for things that I, for, for the mistakes that I've made in my life. And so I feel like that is maybe my core reason of why I don't make decisions is I'm afraid of making mistakes. Um, what's your diagnosis? I really appreciate it, coach. Thanks, inspiring people in the world. Okay, so uh, Ryan, first off, what you have to understand, hmm, where, where, do, we, where do we start here? Let's start with, uh, let's start with this. So successful, successful people, they they don't make less mistakes than than other people. They they don't by far. Okay, they they don't. What they say, Babe Ruth uh, has. Uh, gosh, does he have the most? I think of the second most home runs in history, or maybe third. But Babe Ruth has actually struck out the most in Major League Baseball. Okay, he's failed the most. As a leader, is a leader of your life, right? I believe we're all leaders, right? We're, we're going to fail. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to experience pain and frustration and heartache, right? It's, we are. There's, there's just no way around it. And I too have that, that same belief. Oh, I wanna make sure I make the right choice. I don't wanna make the wrong choice. This could cost me. And, Actually, what I've come to find out, it's costing me not making choices. It's costing me sitting in neutral, okay? It's costing me not doing these things. And so we start to get into the dark shadow of the magician, which is, which is we're paralyzed by all the choices, right? We don't move our, our body, okay? Because we're afraid, but also it's, it's the opposite too. So we create paralysis, okay, by analysis, okay, but vice versa is true. So we, and so let me ex, let me explain this so you can understand that because I understand that this can be confusing sometimes, even confuse myself sometimes. Um, so we're we're at this point in time. We're like, what decision must I make? Should I make A or B decision? And then I start think you start thinking about it more, and then C pops up. It's like, well, do I do A, B, or C? And then D pops up. And so the more I start to think about it, and I start to go down these tunnels, I start to create more scenarios inside of my head. And so now it starts to paralyze me, right? Here's what also happens. I stop moving my body, okay? I stop taking action. I stop doing the things that I ultimately know I need to do. Okay, so I stop moving altogether. And then by stopping moving my body, now I further get stuck in the analysis of it, right? Okay, so my body stops moving and then my mind starts going, right? So I go from my warrior, which is the action taker, the doer. So my warrior steps into more of the dark shadow of the magician. So now I'm starting to analyze everything. I'm starting to think more, I'm starting to think more. Okay, and so what we end up doing is we stop moving all together. And if you stop moving, you don't really create any results at all. Okay. Leaders and successful people, they don't make the right or wrong choices.
they make their choices right. Okay, whatever decision they do, they go in with it with complete conviction. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to win. I'm going to make this happen. Okay, so usually the side effect of doubt is not really following what you truly love, what you truly enjoy doing. Okay, because when you're following what you truly love, and so that's the question I'd really ask is, do you love real estate? Okay, uh, being a loan officer sounds completely fucking miserable to me, just to be honest. That's just me. Uh, to look at numbers all day, I, I hate that shit. Okay, it's the worst. To be a realtor, that's, that seems to be more fulfilling to me, to be interactive, to help people find their dream home, to walk in all these houses. We do uh, real estate on the side and have done quite well with it. And I love that part. The part I hate the most, but again, you could be opposite. You could be like, well, I, I hate interacting with people. I love just doing the numbers and knowing how to pull the right strings in order to get this loan approved, right? And get it done. So. I think the question you're asking is, you know, what what do I love and what should what should I be following in that regards? You know, uh, we don't realize how much of our personality comes from growing up. Um, we have a son that's going to be born soon, and they say, when does when do we start developing our personality? When do we start developing our mindsets? Right, and it's actually from the day you're conceived. Okay, from the day that brain starts developing, you're starting to receive and make truth of the world. And so what you got to understand is you are very, very heavily influenced still to this day based upon being the youngest in your family. Okay. Does this make sense? And so as a, as a younger one, you're usually not the leader, right? You're usually following what mom and dad wants to do or what your brother or sister wants to do. And this can also be more uh, detrimental to younger uh, siblings that had older sisters that were maybe more warrior-ish or uh, more of a queen, right? We felt like we always had to follow. We always had to listen. And if we tried to step up, we'd get pushed back down. If we made a mistake, we got made fun of, right? And so there's a lot of healing that probably needs to take place there. Um, I would have a heart to heart with maybe some of your siblings and how you feel what you feel. We've all done stupid things, right? When we were younger, Right? We're not proud of everything that we've done in life, right? Especially as kids. Kids have the most innocent heart, but the most uh, brutal one at the same time, right? They're very, very honest and, and forthcoming, right? In everything. Um, knowing my personality and uh, my wife's personality, Tatum is going to be very outspoken and, and everything. So uh, you got you to gotta look at that, right? And how it's affecting your decisions to this day, because it is. Okay, and we like to think that we're logical beings, that we need to make logical choices, but that's just not the truth. We're very emotionally charged beings. And, and when we're denying our heart and we're denying this part of our region and what truly fulfills us, um, you know, I just, I don't know how you could be successful in doing that. I don't know how you'd be happy when you were constantly following what your head wanted instead of what your heart wanted. Okay. So some, something that I would look at, but you're going to make mistakes. Okay. And some of the, the greatest, the things that I'm, some of the things I'm most proud of today, honestly, is some of the shit that I've been through. Okay. Not that, not that you always need to go through shit to learn something, but in every moment, there's a lesson to be learned through what you're going through. And one of the reasons why I've hired certain mentors and coaches in my life is because they had, they had a lot of failures and I connected with those failures. I was like, wow, I've experienced that too. I have felt like I'm not good enough. I have felt like I'm going to run out of money. I have felt like no one paid attention to me. Okay. And, and so I connected with their failures. And the reason why I signed up was not that just they failed, but what they've been able to create from those failures. Okay. Your mess is your message. Your mess are your greatest messages. And through those messes, you are going to find an incredible, powerful message in whatever you decide to do. It doesn't matter. You have to decide what you want to be good at. 
you know, um, I'm, in, I'm in a place right now in my life, uh, I'm in my mid thirties. And so money is not as important. Well, it's important for different reasons, right? Than it, than it was in my twenties, you know, um, in my twenties, it was about feeling significant. It was about getting the things that I wanted. It was, you know, about that, but how I make my money is more important than how much money I make. Okay. And sometimes we connect money with a certain lifestyle, but when it comes down, what I've really realized um, is what I really enjoy the most at the end of the day is just hanging out with my friends, hanging out, having fun, telling stories. Okay. It could be up in the mountains, right? You don't need no money to go to the mountains, right? Just need gas in a car, right? Hanging out in my backyard with my campfire. Okay. Having a drink, having a, a, a beer with my friend on the deck outside during summertime, those experiences can be very cheap. You don't, don't need a lot of money. So sometimes uh, we think that the money is what's ultimately going to make us happy. But when we really think about the things that bring us the most happiness and fulfillment and peace, it's not that. Okay. Now here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you don't need money. You need lots of it. Why? Because poor people can't help poor people. They can be nice to them. You can try to influence them with their words. Okay. And everything. But at the end of the day, to really help people, you need money. Okay. We do events. We need money. Okay. Those events are incredibly transformational. Okay. Our leadership event, our branding event, okay. Our marketing. Okay. Those events transform lives in one day, in two days. Okay. I can't smile. I can't go motivate them. I can't say, Hey, join my event for free so we can get paid for. Right. In some scenarios I can, but at the end of the day, you need more money. Okay. People need money to live too. You need to be able to hire other people so they can work. Okay. So look at all of that too. Okay. So you got some uh, deep soul searching, which I think we should always be doing that in our life. Okay. Hope that helped Ryan. Okay. Be inspired in what you're doing. Be next gen. The world needs you. I have spoken.